Well, hello, sports fans. This is Larry Eater here for Run Blog Run. This is our day by day review of the 2022 World Athletics Outdoor Championships being held at the U University of Oregon in Eugene, Oregon, for the first time in the United States ever, ever, ever. Yay! Um, the crowds in the evening session are rocking. Uh, the crowds in the morning will get better each day and we will do reviews of each session for your viewing pleasure. We have a sponsor, Koros. They're a performance sports technology company that do killer sports timing and training products, and they have a brand new training site, coros.com, check it out. My buddies who have tried the, the sports timing devices, which I call watches, love them, covet them, they think they're right. Emma Coburn is using it. Emma Bates is using it. Jeffrey Kim Warrer is using it. Elliot Kipchoge is using it. Why don't you? So thanks again to Koros for coming on board as a sponsor of our World Championships coverage. And I hope you enjoy our reviews. Hello, sports fans. Larry Eater here. We're getting down to the stretch. This is day nine review. The morning of day nine was dedicated to the decathlon, one of my favorite events, starting out, of course, with the 100, then the men's long jump, then the uh, men's shot put. Also in the morning qualifications was the women's hurdles, and there were some huge surprises, uh, some of them sad. In heat one, Nia Ali, the defending champion, hit hurdles and... Uh, did not finish. She will not move on. Brittany Anderson from Jamaica won in 12.59. In heat two, Jasmine Camacho Quinn, the Olympic champion from Puerto Rico, 12.52. Devane Charlton, 12.89. Um, and Noemi Zabarin, 13 uh, flat. In heat three, Tomi Abosan, Nigeria, 12.40. A new Nigerian record. Daniel Williams from Jamaica, 12.87. Sarah Lavin. Uh, Celeste Bucci in uh, Ditaj Kamuji, uh, Mujigu's uh, sister from Switzerland, move on. In Heat 4, Pierre Skirasawa from um, Poland, Nadine Wieser, Andrea Vargas, um, Liz Clay, uh, and Alicia Johnson did not finish. Alicia Johnson had moved her blocks up a couple inches, and she was too close to the first hurdle. Too close to the second hurdle, tried to get over the third, and she couldn't do it, and she stopped. Uh, and that's a sad way to end the season. Uh, in Heat 5, it was Aaliyah Armstrong from the USA, 12.48. She looked great. Megan Tapper, Olympic medalist, Jamaica. In second, Amorion Fure from South Africa, Mako Fukubi, and Leticia Bapte uh, all moved on. In Heat 6, Kendra Harrison, Kenny Harrison, won 1260, Cindy December uh, via Michigan for Great Britain, 1267, Michelle Ajeniki from Australia, Rita Hersky and Masumi Aoki moved on. And in heat seven, oh, this was a weird one, Anna Zagre. Um, so Anna Zagre was impacted by Alicia Johnson in her heat. They had her come back. She had her run a certain time and she did not make that, so she didn't get to move on. So you remember that when they did it with Allison Felix and they've done that with a uh, athlete from Ecuador, at the world the juniors back in 2014, Mike Deering and I were there and saw that one. Okay. So let's get to the evening session. There was some really interesting stuff that happened. So the evening session opened with the men's high jump. And then we had heats in the four by four for men and four by four for women, which, uh, went quite well the triple jump final for the men you know the triple jump just doesn't have the pizzazz with uh christian taylor not being there will clay was 11th you know he didn't really compete well it was won by pedro pichardo the guy used to compete with uh, christian taylor a lot and pedro went to 1795 a world leader but it just wasn't uh where it needs to be um i mean i was hoping he'd get over 18 meters hughes fabrice zango gave burkina faso its second world championship medal. And uh, in 1755 jump, he got the silver. And Yaming Zhu from China was in third. And um, then Andrea Dalaval from Italy and Emmanuel Hemenche. So um, 
Uh, it was, you know, the triple jump was a good competition. It just wasn't a great competition. And we've had so many stunning triple jump competitions in the past. It was just a little disappointing. And see, so far, it's the, the only event that's underwhelmed me at the World Champs. The men's 800, which I had no idea what was going to happen. Marco Arup from Canada made a brave move, hit the lead at 52.03, was leading at 600. When Olympic champion Emmanuel Carrere went by and won in 143.71. Shamel Sajati from Algerie, 144.14 in the silver. He had looked great in the heats. And a, a keen observer had sent me a note about watching out for the Algerians. And Marco Arap got himself a bronze. So nice job, Marco. Marco's one of our faves. I got to meet Peter Bull, who's in seventh uh, in this race. I had thought Gabriel Tual from France would do well. But um, he finished sixth. And making it to the final of an 800, men's 800, is pretty damn impressive. So women's 5,000. Wow. You know, I was trying to figure out what was going to happen there. And I remember talking to a couple buddies last night. And, you know, they put it in perspective. They said, well, Tenzabet Gede, the 10,000 meter champion, may just not have the finishing speed for the five. Sifan Hassan took a lot of time off after her gold medals of the five and 10 in bronze and the 1500 in the Olympics. And she's just not there this season. And uh, she finished fourth in the 10,000, if you remember. So it came down to Gudaf Segei, Beatrice Chebet, Dawit Sayom, and Margaret Kikembwa. Margaret, you remember, was the bronze medals in the 10,000. She ended up taking fourth. Gudaf Segei, as you recall, battled um, Faith Kipyegin in the 1500. And she took the gold. Gudaf took the gold in 1446-29. Beatrice Chebet, 1446-75. Dawit Sayom, 1447-37. There were three Americans in the final. Elise Cranny uh, finished top. She was ninth, 1459-99. Emily Infield was 14th in 1529-03. Recall her being in 2015 world championship bronze medalist at the 10,000 meters and she's back and healthy. Carissa Schweizer, I'm concerned about Carissa. Uh, Carissa did so well on the U.S. champs, you know, um, won the 10, uh, second in the five and fourth in the 1500. I think she injured herself and uh, we're going to have to check that out. So I'm going to do some checking and I will let you know. Carissa is one of our favorite athletes, but that 5,000 was pretty good. Elisa McColgan was 11th. I believe she goes over to the um, Commonwealth Games. And Caroline Grovedahl finished eighth. She had that fantastic 5,000 in Oslo this summer. Um, and I believe she'll be at the Europeans. So we'll be doing updates starting on the European champs tomorrow. I'm going to take each day of the world's talk about the top Europeans and that they're going to the uh, European champs. We're promoting ticket sales for European athletics. Uh, European champs are the... 15th to the 21st in Munich, drink beer, watch track meets. What else can you ask for? Okay. And the European champs are killer. I went to 2014 and loved it. Interesting stuff that happened in the men's decathlon 400 meters. Fifth event of the decathlon. Damien Warner uh, collapsed to the track at about 150 meters in looking great. He was leading the event too. So he is out. What we hadn't talked about before the four by ones is the men's javelin throw. And uh, Jan Zelesny, the world record holder, was uh, he's coaching the Czech team. He was uh, watching the meet, and they had him on TV a little bit. But it came down to Anderson Peters, 90.1, uh, 90.54 meters. Neeraj Chopra, the uh, uh, Olympic uh, champion from India, 88.13. And Jakob Vodlicek from the Czech Republic, 88.09. Julian Weber from Germany was fourth in 86.86. Arshad Nadim from Pakistan, first time a Pakistani uh, has made the final of the jab, um, and he went 86-16, so he did wonderfully. Uh, Lassi Etelatalo from Finland, 82-70 in sixth place. So uh, it was a good javelin, um, and Anderson Peters continues to impress. Let me tell you what also impressed, the women's four by one. One of my observers said this was the upset of the entire meet. It came down to the final handoff. And the U.S. team was Melissa Jefferson, who handed off to Abby Steiner. Good handoff. Handed off to Jenna Branditi. Great handoff. 
Abby broke the race open. Jenna kept the race open. Tunisia Terry kept Sharika Jackson from catching her. Uh, the Jamaican team was Kemba Nelson, Elaine Thompson, Shelly and Fraser Price, Sharika Jackson. Uh, handoffs three and four uh, or two and three were really poor for Jamaica. And uh, the U.S. handoffs is what won it. The U.S. went 41-14. Uh, Jamaica 4118, our friends from Germany 4203, Nigeria and a national record and area record 4222, um, and our friends in fifth from Spain 4258, a national record. Great Britain was sixth in 4275. But I'll tell you that team of Melissa J. Uh, Jefferson, Abby Steiner, Jenna Prandini, Tonisha Terry, and, and Abby and Jenna really busted it open. They're both sponsored by Puma. So nice job, Puma, for picking up two superstars. And the crowd went nuts when Jenna was introduced. And they really were very supportive of Abby and Melissa and Tunisha. What a wonderful U.S. team. Congratulations. Uh, and this is the way track meet's supposed to end. It's just people on, their, uh, people on their feet. And people stayed to watch the medal ceremonies. That was pretty cool. Everybody thought it was the U.S. versus Jamaica. Well, no one seemed to tell the Canadian. And Jamaica ended up finishing fourth in 30.06. Akeem Blake to Johan Blake to Oblique Seville to Jelani Walker. And their handoffs were just not there. And it took them out of the race. In uh, third was Great Britain. That was Jonah F. Foloco, Zarnell Hughes, Nathaniel Mitchell Blake, and Reese Prescott. 37.83 seasonal best. Jonah F. Foloco, 10.45. Zarnell Hughes, 8.96. Nathaniel Mitchell Blake, 9.46. Reese Prescott, 8.96. Reese cranked it. It came down to Canada and the U.S. and it came down to the, so the Canadian team was Aaron Brown to Jerome Blake to Brendan Rooney to Andre de Grasse. Uh, the U.S. team was Christian Coleman to Noah Lyles to Elijah Hall to Marvin Bracey. The, it came down to the third handoff on the U.S. Elijah Hall and Marvin, they got around, but it was oh so close. And Andre de Grasse capitalized on that, running 879 for his leg. And the Canadians ran 3748. U.S. ran 3755. Great Britain 3783. Great performances. U.S. did do a relay camp, and thank God they got it around the track. And that's a good, strong team. They just need to work on those handoffs. Elijah Hall to Marvin Bracey, that needs to be worked on. But they got it around the track. They got a silver medal. The crowd went nuts. It was a great night of track and field. We've got uh, day 10 coming up shortly. And uh, thanks again for following Run Blog Run. Run, jump, and throw today. Tell someone you love them eat well, rest up, watch track and field. NBC Sports had 11 million people watching their coverage last week and 2 million a session. I sure hope you were there. Also, you can watch it on Peacock. And there's a Peacock um, uh, paid thing for $4.99 a month. It's fantastic. Uh, I love Peacock coverage and I love the NBC. You can see everything there. So check it out. This World Championships, this has been nine days now. We got one more day to go. It's been fantastic. I want to thank uh, Mike Deering, our production manager, who's been suffering through COVID and managing to produce all this for us. And it really means a lot. And I hope Mike feels well. And uh, we'll be getting back to our regular programming probably mid-August. But uh, a lot of stuff's been going on. I've been up here in Springfield, Eugene, uh, we'll be covering the Commonwealth Games and the European Championships coming up. Watch for our coverage and please check out Run Blog Run. Larry Eater signing off.